We are now live. We're going to be working here with Bobby Bouchain, uh, the water expert. Uh, sometimes we call him the water boy. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the Alcaviva systems. And we're going to be looking at how important water is for our bodies and our life. Mm -hmm. um, we don't typically drink a lot of water. Actually, we eat most of our water. But when we do drink water, there's a difference. H2O is not necessarily the water you want to drink. And we're going to be talking about that. So, um, so uh, a little bit of just uh, a little bit about what we're doing here specifically. So we're gonna. Yeah. So tell us so, a little bit about the machine. So this is the Alcaviva Vesta H2. What this machine is doing is the water will come in from the regular source water. There's two filters, one on each side. It's got 12 stage dual filtration to purify the water, and then it goes through an electrolysis process where it splits the water into alkaline and acidic waters. And our alkaline waters have a therapeutic amount of hydrogen in there to reduce oxidative stress, uh, inflammation, and repair gut health, among many other things, including proper optimal hydration from the water absorbing to your body properly. Mm -hmm. So no, all ionization machines <clears throat> produce alkaline water? Yes, okay. the, I, I, producing the alkaline water from an ionization machine, very easy. Okay, now some of them produce hydrogen, yeah. but mm -hmm. they, they, they don't last very long, and that's what, that's what I've noticed. Like you had, yeah. you had a, a machine, um, same type of machine. Yeah, but similar it, type of machine. I don't need to, we yeah. don't need to mention brands, but what needs to happen in these machines and the, is they need to be cleaned very rigorously. The, the cathode of the electrolysis mm -hmm. plates needs to be clean and free of calcium. As soon as any calcium scales onto that, any of the hydrogen that you are getting is done. And at that point, you just have very nice tasting uh, alkaline water, but that's not doing what you want it to do for your health. <coughs> yeah. So the, the body produces 10 liters of hydrogen per day. Hydrogen is the strongest antioxidant that you can get. Like literally, it's, it's 100 times stronger than our power part. But if your body is just mildly stressed, that goes to five liters. If it's chronically stressed, that goes to one or two liters or even zero. And so one of the ways, if you're in a deficit, to bring your body up fat is to actually use the hydrogen as a medicine. Now, and, and, again, and again, I've been on this for a while, so you can filter your water in different ways. You can get a, like a, um, a Berkey. Berkey. You get a Berkey, yeah. and, and, and that's, I mean, you can filter your toilet water with a Berkey. We have a Berkey, we've used one here for, for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. But what that does is filter the water, but it doesn't put it back in the state that it came naturally out of fruit, out of vegetables. That's called H3O, uh, H3O2. Yeah, it's structured water yeah. is one way of looking at it, yes. But, H, but it is, it's actually, it's not a, it's not a myth, it's H3O2. Yeah, sorry, it's, it's, the reason I say that it's one way of looking at it is the H2 is what creates that H3O2. And without that, um, you, without that, you're gonna have the pH of the water, but you need, it's, the H2 needs to be there. That's kind of the point that I was trying to. And if you're just drinking H2O, H2O is a solvent, it literally a solvent. That means it, it cleans stuff. That's why it cleans our laundry. That's why it cleans our dishes. And the way that water cleans is it uses friction. So H2O, what it does is if it has enough friction, soap just gives it more friction so that it works better. But you can also create friction with like magnets, laundry magnets. Mm -hmm. So we just need friction in the water to clean. So it's the water cleaning, not the soap. So in this particular case, when we're talking about H2O, um, or, H2, or H3O2, when you're drinking H2O, you're actually drinking a solvent. Yeah, so, and, and it makes sense, I mean, solvent, it's cleaning stuff out, but, yep. but we don't want to drink a solvent all the time. No, no yeah, there's, so, there's a time and a place, absolutely. Then that's why uh, even like drinking coconut water right out of coconuts, mm. uh, it's not just the electrolytes, it's the structure. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. So, so let's, let's go on to the, the machine now. There's a lot of machines out there. Yep. This one here is pretty simple. This is a countertop unit. Yep. And then we also have over here, we have the... Under the counter unit. Under the counter unit. So basically exact same machine. It's just this digital faucet will allow you to put the machine underneath the counter uh, just for basically aesthetic purposes. To get water out, you just turn the turn the tap on by pressing the button. And this is this is the alkaline. This water. is the main faucet, so yeah. you so alkaline water will always start coming out of there. But if you switch to say the acidic water, 
that's what's coming out of the main faucet. Whatever's on this screen is coming out of here. This is the way, the reason it's being split is that's just the way the technology works. The, um, so you got the purified water as well and the alkaline, um, the alkaline, the, the whole, what the technology is doing is splitting the purified after being filtered properly H2O into alkaline and acidic. Okay, so, so, um, so basically if this is nine, yeah. this has to be five. Yes. Because it always comes to 14, right? Yes. Yeah, thank you. I know I sound really smart, but he taught me that today. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just the way the pH scale works. It's 0 to 14. 7 is neutral. Every, everything lower than 7 is acidic. Everything higher than 7 is alkaline. Yeah. And so if you have a 9 coming out of here, you'll have a 5 coming out of here. Uh, these machines will, will produce and create up to uh, over 11 pH alkaline water. So if you have 11 coming out of here, you got three coming over there. And we're actually going to show what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to show with we the are going to yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go back to the countertop machine because it's a little bit easier for demonstration purposes. So with, so we turn it on here. That's actually, not a lot of the machines on the market can do this where you can actually hook the machine up directly to the cold water line. A lot of ionizers are connected right to the faucet. It creates a bit of a mess around the faucet and it also allows hot water to get into the machine, which you don't want. Um, so to switch to the high alkaline water, the level five, we go like, we go right here. And so it's all, it's, all it is is just a press of a button. But to get it even stronger, I'm going to slow the rate down a little bit so that it's going over the plates longer and that will create an even higher pH because it's the high pH that saponifies and emulsifies the oil-based <laughs> pesticides. Sorry to grab the No, no, this is what I want. I want to know how to clean the pesticides off of my tomatoes. <clears throat> yes. Now, you guys... We buy organic. I was going to say, you guys <laughs> but, already. You but but it's organic doesn't always mean organic because it can yep. be organically grown, but if it crosses the border... It means that it could have pesticides, radiation, all kinds of other stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. So by buying organic, it could be organically grown, but then not organic by the time I get it, which yeah. is which is something that people don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> so someone exactly. had a question about rainwater. Is rainwater hydrogen? What's the level of hydrogen in rainwater? Well, but today it's hard. Uh, yeah. yeah that's gonna say. Because today, of the because of all the stuff in the air, the geoengineering that we're doing. Yeah. It's not. I can't really trust in rainwater as much as I would like to. So if you, so take, you still take a, need the filtration. If you take a look at this right now, um, if if it starts to rain or if the snow starts to change color, mm -hmm. um, in places that have snow, that means there's chemicals in it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's that's what you see often as you see now. Uh, or if it rains and you have a white car or something like that and it gets really dirty, mm -hmm. that's actually the chemical. Mm -hmm. So the rainwater itself, we are testing here, and we're in Bur beautiful British Columbia, the rainwater itself isn't safe to drink, mm -hmm. yeah. um, which is crazy because that's the way it always was, but that's simply because of the chemicals. So how long do I leave my vegetables we'll, and fruits and stuff to soak? We'll let those sit for 10, 15 minutes okay. and then see what happens. And this is a good... <clears throat> Uh, explanation for me to make because a lot of people that sell these machines will just do the you know wash it off with the uh, right. strong alkaline water because you'll see the pesticides coming up but then they uh, they negate also finishing up by washing with the acidic water because you will you still want to kill any bacteria and viruses and stuff like that that's on the tomatoes so when I get apples sometimes they're uh, covered with wax. wax yeah does that take the wax Wax, no, not even, not even with the strongest pH. It's not going to take the wax off yeah. of it, unfortunately. That the acid, is, the, the yeah. no, because it's not a like it's not like a hydrochloric acid where it's a buffering acid where right. it's going to burn a hole in your counter. Yeah. Hypochlorous acid isn't a buffering acid. That's what what is the hypochlorous acid is the hydrogen <laughs> to the alkaline water. Hypochlorous acid is to the acidic water. So this is good for all our all our fruits and vegetables. 
Yep. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and, and, and just cooking in general. Mm -hmm. So cooking with rices and grains and passes, mm -hmm. using the, the higher alkaline water mm -hmm. with that, cooking soups, oh, <laughs> soups with this water. I noticed, I noticed the difference. I did yeah. a soup the other day and I used the high alkaline water. Yep. And the soup uh, tasted more lively, the best way to say it. It was like more flavor. It's pulling the flavors <clears throat> out of what you're making the soup with that much more. So, so this is actually high alkaline. It's Pulling the pulling stuff out. So yeah, basically, all yeah. the is going to pull it out. And that's why you only want to let it sit in there for 10 15 minutes. Because okay. you will start stripping things out yeah. of it. Nutrients. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, not that our food has the most amount of nutrients in it like it used to, anyways. But so the counterpart. So if I want to clean my counters or yes. the windows or. The counterpart to the strong acidic water is the strong. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, the strong alkaline water is the strong acidic water. So again, just by the press of a button, mm -hmm. press it to level two uh, uh, acidic. Mm -hmm. Nice little song plays with it. I, just... wonder, I love the little song that <laughs> yeah. plays. It's just, uh, it, it, they play that so that you know that the acidic water is coming out of there. Now, if you drank some of this, this acidic water, you're gonna be okay. In fact, if you get uh, food poisoning, have a glass of the acidic water because the uh, hypochlorous acid in the water will kill E. coli, salmonella, staph, MRSA, all within 30 seconds of contact. So if I have a staph infection, which a lot or of people- Or a cut have. finger. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a staph infection, which is very, very common. Um, it's a boil on the skin. Yep. If I put the acid on there, it's actually neutralizing it right away. Yep. So, so this is what, um, <clears throat> I, this is one of the things, it's like, I, I don't understand because I know that to be true. I don't understand why we use this in medicine, like in hospitals and clinics like ours. Well, these, these are, uh, like a lot of ionizers are used in Asia, in Japan, in China, and Korea in their hospitals. Right. In just fact, not, just not here. No, no, it's just not <laughs> here, not yet. Um, hydrogen was actually one of the first treatments in the hospital for COVID. Yes, yeah, so actually, I, I do know that because hydrogen uh, through um, ventilation. Yeah. 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 So there's, Three main ways of, of ingesting and getting hydrogen. There's through your water, mm -hmm. uh, there's in, inhaling it, which is pretty much primarily gonna have it happen at a clinical or hospital style setting. Mm -hmm. um, and sa same with saline. There's a hydrogen rich saline. <laughs> that's only gonna be at a clinical or hospital. Yeah, that's, uh, is that that's that's IV. that people yeah, go IV. to a clinic for and they get an IV? Yeah. Yes, there the are. Room. And there's actual hydrogen specific mm -hmm. clinics in Korea and Japan mm -hmm. um, where you can bathe in it. Uh, they have hydrogen wow. eye drops. You're inhaling it. There's hydrogen. This would be, this would be I mean, it take a little bit of work, but if I had eczema or or skin lesions or something like that, yeah. bathing in it would actually would actually really help. Yeah, and but what I would honestly say, having the, that was one of the main reasons why I got an ionizer. So to give my story, back in 2013, I bought uh, an ionizer because I was in a really bad ATV accident. I got traumatic brain injury, almost broke with C1, C2 vertebrae, which would have left me a quadriplegic breathing through a tube. Um, it was at that time that I saw my numbers in the hospital weren't as good as I would <laughs> like them to be. So I invested in an ionizing machine and, and the acid reflux that I used to have, which I used to have to take Nexium, which was prescription heartburn medication, not cheap either. Oh um, and I mean, at the age of, at the time, 27 and on oh, Nexium, okay. like, okay, if I don't do something for my health, I'm <laughs> going to be in hospital for other reasons here yeah. soon. Uh, I also had psoriasis on my scalp, and it was pretty bad. And so, while you can you can treat the eczema and psoriasis with the acidic waters, uh, topically, you can bathe in the hydrogen water if you want. But I, what I found, especially with eczema and psoriasis, is that when you start fixing things on the inside, exactly. that's exactly. when things on the outside start. Well, that's better. I mean that's, that's the, 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 yeah the ultimate because we whenever somebody has eczema or rashes or rosacea or rheumatoid arthritis, yep. it's all the same. It's all coming from the same place yep. in our opinion. And uh, the small intestine, when we clean it up, it all goes. But I'm thinking 
about a double whammy. So I'm doing the 28 day reset. I'm already cleaning up my autoimmune. Yeah. But then I can literally, if I have expo external skin that's exposed, I can actually either topically put it on. Yeah. Or I, I, I'm thinking about taking this upstairs and filling up. No, we're, we're, we're talking about the, the actual trifecta. Because you're going to be drinking the hydrogen water that's, and uh, it's going to be reducing the oxidative stress and inflammation. Right. You can use the acidic water topically. But mm -hmm. then when you guys explain to, or tell people to do the salt bath, you imagine a salt bath with the hydrogen water? Yeah, yeah. The, I can't the benefits actually, that you'd get outside of even eczema and psoriasis would be impressive. I, I, as a matter of fact, um, I don't want to uh, uninstall this machine right now, but I think I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna carry buckets up and do this in the bath today. Yeah, this is it's the, mm -hmm. pretend there's a fire and there's a fire up there. You guys got the old school way of you know putting it up. Just, just get a little convoy and uh, you know. <laughs> The fire bucket. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, you guys so, uh, have been answering all the questions without um, telling you guys, but awesome. um, one That's question awesome. is, uh, how do you wash your hair with it? Uh, so washing your hair with it would be, it's, so there's no hot water that goes through it. So that's got, not going to be the easiest thing to do, but it is one of the things that I did when I, yeah. when I have the psoriasis in my scalp, I, I just run my, run it right over my hair. I just put my head in the, in the kitchen sink and let it run right over. <coughs> that's really cool. Yeah. And, yeah. And, like, you know what's funny because oh, we, we are getting a little uh, bit of color out of there. Okay, so I knew it. And so those are organic. Is, these are supposedly <laughs> organic. Yeah. And uh, you can't trust organic. Uh, so, anyways, <gasps> this is uh, coming out of our organic. Um, and it's people that we know. And it's all the other stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is actually quite a bit of stuff coming yeah, out. I was, I was Shocked. a little bit surprised. Uh, Do you want me to keep, keep this? Nope, nope. There's no need, no need for that water anymore. <laughs> So again, to follow up after that, this doesn't need to soak. Again, the acidic water is going to kill E. coli and all that, all within contact. You can actually feel it too when you're when you're. You can feel the astringency in the water. You can feel it getting like oh, yeah. tighter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you, yeah oh, you it can is. Feel it. Feels yeah, tight. yeah. yeah. yeah it, uh, yeah. Whereas if we do this, uh, slow it down, you'll notice it gets more like slippery almost. oh yeah 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 that's the more, that's the, that's why we like the alkaline viscous. yes like that very is, viscous yep yeah, that's the that's the mm -hmm. word that's that word. i was looking for <laughs> what's the what's the difference with this and that this distiller distill mm -hmm. oh this um distill water is uh it's gonna take literally everything out of so the water nice. so the um, you're gonna get all of your, you know, the bad stuff that you you want, you don't want in your water out. But you're also going to get all of your minerals and everything out of the water as well, which you don't necessarily want to do. Um, and so, it's distill distillation is good for the filtration aspect of it, but you're not gonna the the real the reason people get these machines. <coughs> number one is the hydrogen. It's the health benefits. It's getting, you know, it's getting that redu reduction in oxidative stress. It's getting that optimal hydration. Number two would be all the other benefits through the alkaline and acidic waters that the, you, right. you get through it. And just to be clear, the the a lot of the other alkalizers out there, they if you don't clean them, yeah. they only last like under a month or two months, right? Yeah. And, and, I mean, and this one self cleans. Yes. Yeah, so this has so to get a little bit into the electrolysis plates. The cathode is creating the hydrogen-rich alkaline water. The anode is creating the acidic water. The cathode attracts calcium. The anode repels it. So this has a technology that switches the anode and cathode every single time that you use it. That eliminates the possibility of calcium scaling onto it. The problem I've seen with companies that don't have this technology is that they're typically focused on alkalinity and right. pH. And so if you were to test your machine and say and see that it's not making any hydrogen, but it's making the, the alkaline and acidic pH waters like it's like it can very easily, you take it to that company and say, Hey, my machine's not creating hydrogen. They're gonna say, Hey, we don't recognize hydrogen oh. as something that we have with our machine, so right. your warranty is not and you just and, have and basically those are the majority of the ionizers that are out there in the market right now yes <laughs> and and another thing i would like to add to the strong alkaline water <laughs> is the fact that we don't need to add anything to the strong alkaline water so the other 
machines out there. A lot of them will need an electrolysis solution that gets added into the machine, added into the water to get it to that high of pH and also create the hypochlorous. Oh, the, so they're the using chlorine. a solution to create the high of pH. Yeah, and essentially it's just a salt water. It's, so NaCl water, the sodium goes to the alkaline side, the chlorine goes to the acidic side, um, and in the alkaline side, sodium hydroxide is created. You do not want to drink that. <laughs> and it also will add to the degradation of the place and inside. And what, what can happen after that is you can start getting nano platin, um, platinum nanoparticles into the water. And again, you don't want yeah. that. So we, so we put this back, I turned this into acidic now. Yeah. And that was, it's not as green as it was before. Yeah. Well, no, you're not going to get any color out of that because you're, the, the acidic water, the, that's all you need to do. They're, they're nice. So and, just one go. Yeah, they're yeah. nice and disinfected. Like that's why you can put the acidic water into the spray bottle. Somebody's asking, how is this different than reverse osmosis? I add mineral salt and lemons to help with minerals. Yeah, yeah so reverse osmosis is very similar to uh, distilled. Yeah. In fact, depending on where you are in the world, yeah, we have a reverse osmosis filtration system that can be added onto our machine because there are some places that just have really bad water. I mean, Mexico is a great place for you, for you to have that. But then it's important to then remineralize the water because that is what creates the foundation and that of, to this water that allows our machines to create the hydrogen in the water above just the alkalinity. By the way, tomatoes taste great. <laughs> Try it, man. I'm not a big oh. tomato fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, please don't ask me. Don't please ask don't ask me. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you're so, not a big tomato fan. So what Okay, so, so the, the next thing is, okay, so we've got the machine, we're drinking the water, we understand that one, two, three, four, five hydrogen, you're going to drink two or three normally. Yep. Four or five are basically for uh, cooking. Yeah, cooking, and cleaning. Number one is use, that, that goes to my cats. <laughs> cats like number one, whereas dogs will like number two, typically. Interesting. Yeah. And they, they will, yeah, because they will take what they prefer. If you yep. put two in, they will. Yeah, them. and I, and when you get your machine, just set out a couple of different bowls and let them choose and then you'll find out which one they yeah one and could it only be one or two for the pets yeah i don't Not three. no i don't you, you don't want to go too high on the alkalinity um i mean again like this the alkalinity isn't buffering ph alkaline water that's why that's that debunks the whole alkaline myth right then and there you know drinking the 9.5 ph water isn't going to do anything to the alkalinity or the ph of your body unless hydrogen is present yeah it's because okay. uh because it's like when we our ph in our stomach is one yeah so when we take water and we eat stuff in there that one is diluting all that 9.5 that stays in the stomach yep. and until it's all digested and that water is there as part of it so that water is it's not it's not increasing anything. It's literally there's, there's one benefit to alkaline water. Or there's one thing that alkaline water does. The valve or uh, the valve that goes that allows water into your stomach. It's called a hypo. Um, oh, I'm gonna hyper. No, high chlor. It's it's a valve that goes into <laughs> your stomach. It's a flap in the top yeah, of the stomach. Yeah, so it yeah. The bottom of the top. Of, let's see. It's pH going. sensitive. Yeah. So the alkaline water will open that flap. More, I guarantee you. Once the cameras are turned off, I'm gonna remember that. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you know, but but uh, I know I challenge that because um, it's like like for example, if I drink water in my system. Mm -hmm. Acid does not come into it. like if I drink water or liquid, the stomach has two chambers basically. Mm -hmm. And if I drink water or liquids, it goes in and it passes through in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. But if I drink a high alkaline water, what you're saying is going to affect the flat. Mm -hmm. yeah. That means I'm going to put acid into my water, which I don't want because that burns a massive amount of energy. So, mm -hmm. another thing that I should actually clarify too is there's two different types of alkaline water. There's alkaline water that you get from like a Centivia system or uh, there's minerally alkalized water. So it's alkaline because it's got calcium and magnesium and stuff like that in there. And then there's electrically alkaline water. And it, just like the acidic water isn't a 
fully buffering acidic, this isn't a fully buffering alkaline, so that means that even, regardless of what that flap is doing, as soon as it gets into your stomach, that hypoporous acid that your body is creating in your stomach to break down the foods, it's going to bring it right back to acidic, just like that. Right. Like it would take, um. like, it would take one drop of lemon juice so, for you to make so, the... So from my point okay. of view, is that once that flap opens, your body uses a lot more energy yep. than if the flap stays cold. So yep. so technically, I wouldn't want to drink a high pH uh, water because with a, without food in my stomach, mm -hmm. because that, what that's going to cause, is going to cause my body to use a bunch of energy it doesn't have to use. Yep. That's, that's an important part, because we look at the body differently. We look at it... Just as energy, I have energy to heal or not. I'm either healing or I'm dying, and there's no in between. Quite, quite honestly, I'll, I'll tell people to put a little bit of lemon juice in their water yeah. because it'll bring that pH back down. And that's, so, again, it's a natural uh, pH. Okay. This, this so is you a can, confusing one for people. So you can do yeah. this. You can run it at a at a point uh, at a 11.5 or 9.5. Yeah. But you put 11.5. You put a little lemon juice in it, brings the pH down. But, but you still but have the hydrogen. Up, but the hydrogen goes up with mm -hmm. the alkalinity on the stomach. Yeah. And then you got some lemon juice in there. Yeah. Because because <laughs> I wouldn't want I wouldn't want to drink 9.5 or 11.5 all the time. No. Nope. But but when I do, I, I have noticed that mm -hmm. I've taken the 11.5. I put you know squeeze some lime in it. Yeah. And then I carbonate it. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that'll that'll yeah. bring yeah, that'll bring the pH down. That would, that's that would taste lovely. I, I would recommend if you can find them key lime. Key lime would be even oh, better. Oh, the there. little Florida ones. Yeah, the little tiny ones. Okay, so they're packed with vitamin C too. Okay, yeah. so let's go to the next thing. Okay, so one of the things that, that the hardest thing. First of all, we spend a lot of money on cleaning products. Like yeah. here's some ones that you can do. A laundry mat. Uh, the average the average family spends uh, somewhere around six hundred to seven hundred dollars just on laundry detergent per year. <clears throat> the, uh, the batteries that you put inside the, or sorry, uh, magnets that you put inside the washer create the friction and you have one, you buy them for like 50, 60 bucks and you never use detergent. Mm -hmm. So, because it creates the friction. So that's alternate ways to cleaning. Now, we've gone through, we've tried cleaning products, we've tried the natural ones, we've oh, got yeah. some from... Malaluka? Yeah, we yeah, got Malaluka, yeah, I mean, we, Norwex. Okay, they're, they're not, they're, they're, I'm not complaining about the products, it's no. like they're good products, but I, first of all, I'm spending money on it, I don't really want to, I can actually just put the acid water here, let's talk about it. Which yeah. we did do. Oh, by the way, we, so we, <laughs> what we did, say. we actually did the acid water in here because it's streaky. And the acid water dries the uh, the window without streaks because there's no chemicals in it to abate. It's really, really cool. Yeah, I was, I was saying that we kind of have that like programmed in our minds. It's, the acid water is like, it, it will mess with people's minds a little bit because we're so used to uh, being, re relating smells or scents to cleaning. Like you smell pine salt or Mr. Clean yeah, or whatever. Yeah. You're like, oh, or this bleach. is clean. Yeah. Yeah. Or bleach or ammonia. That was his thing. Yes. Yeah. So one of the things that we do is uh, with our essential oils, mm -hmm. um, we, uh, we have a uh, Dr. Nick from essential oil wizardry. So he's got a, bu he's got a bunch of them, but, but some of them, uh, like, like called, uh, it's called uh, can candida. Yep. It actually, we put it in the water. So it does create the smell and it also has, has essential oils. You just put one drop or two drops in the water, yep. and if you have the acid there, then you still have the smell. And that's yep. the same thing with the laundry. Uh, no, neroli oil is a good one for laundry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's yeah. like the natural laundry scent. Yeah. Oh, like, that, that, oh that's cool. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So okay. that's learning over here. So, okay, so, so, so we've got acid water. Please, already put the acid water Now, in. Yep. unfortunately, everything is clean. Well, we yeah. do here. You know what we do have? What about the, what about the mirror? Yeah. Well, actually, my stainless steel is never that clean. What about the mirror? Mm -hmm. the what about the mirror? Yeah, you can do the mirror. You guys want to check out the mirror? Or the front of this, the... No, it's already clean. Yeah, okay, okay we, we, got a, we got a mirror that never cleans. Let's see what happens. It, like, literally stays foggy. So let's let's try it out. Let's get yeah. some paper yeah. towels. You guys yeah. have to follow us here. This is uh, the inside. This is our Lions Bay retreat center. Yep. And uh, we're going to go up to the oh, master. Here, what? We're going in here. Oh, sorry. We're going this <laughs> No way you're going in here. No way. <laughs> <laughs> we're prepared for that one. Where are you at? And this mirror is street. Can you see oh, yeah? Yeah. Look at it. Can, yeah. you, can you see that? Yeah. 
Does it look streaky? It looks streaky to me. Can you see it on? on yeah, the, on camera, it might you might not see it as much. Okay. So, so just spray it. And leave it. Oh, in the hallway. Okay, we'll try that one. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll try this one. The one in the hallway. Well, you're taller than I am. Yeah, yeah. This is not something I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't clean my share of bathrooms. I clean toilets and facilities. See, I think that looks very shiny. Wow. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm shocked, actually. So the other one Jordan's talking about is... Wow. Let's know, try the other one. The I'm a, okay. I'm We're going to go get all of our dirty mirrors. I'm happy about that. <laughs> So can you see that on the camera? Oh, yeah, you can get it from here. It's an old mirror. And the so this has never, never come clear. Away. Oh yeah, I can. Let's just see that one. If it works Let's on see. this, this is going to be magic. Give me the paper towel, baby. Because I can never get that one clean. Oh, it looks like it might be working. Because this is very antique. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh my oh. God. Oh. Whoa. Okay, I, okay, see, I'm, I'm impressed. That's just what no okay. more went, no more of those. Because we've, we've cleaned this, sprinkles. we've we've had our, we've had cleaners try to clean this, and we've had them try to scrub it, and it's like you don't want to take it out because it's such a beautiful <laughs> antique piece. And wow. and the mirror wasn't. I was thinking about putting a new mirror in. <clears throat> no need. That's really really cool because. Otherwise, you're using, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, all it's, it's an, exactly. It's an antique. You don't, you don't want to be using those yeah. ammonia and chemical-filled cleaners on there. Mm -hmm. awesome. And that's I it. think when I did the granite in the kitchen, that it shined. Well, that's it. That's hard to get a shine. That's on another part. Yeah, let's try the granite. See, the yeah. granite is really hard to get a shine on. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's go do the granite. Yeah. <clears throat> and especially right, right here. Okay, we got some right here. You can yeah, see this it. is the worst There you go. Part. Like, this is really hard for me to get clean, and then people stand here, and yeah, can so you guys I, see that? Yeah, yeah see I see it. It's super somewhere. filmy, we'll just yeah. do half. Because this one, this one, we never get it clean, even after cleaners, as soon as they're gone. And I've tried everything, stone cleaner, And this because it's granite, cleaner. it's not a tile, it's actually rock. But if it takes that off, then we know that it's really doing a job. Can you? you know what? If it okay. doesn't, one thing you could do, you could try on there too, is the high alkaline water, because that's going to cut through the grease and, and stuff like that. Most of the yeah. Oh, because high, in this know, spray like, bottle we okay. Have so let's do the high. Let's do high alkaline in right here. This is wet it up. Yeah, on the okay. side that you didn't. Yeah. So what was in here again? That's the acidic water. Acidic water. Yeah. And actually. So here. Run it nice and slow. Okay. So to get more alcohol, maybe we yeah. get this. Okay. So you run it slow to... to, to so it spends it. more time on the plates. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's exactly it. So the more time on the plates, the more... Okay, so I can... This one's an acidic. This, this one's, one's, this one's strong alcohol. Strong oh, strong, okay, strong alcohol. Can we get here? I mean, it does look better on that side. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it does. And that's just water. I love <clears> this. <throat> Yeah, so this is, and you know, you think about, even if we have natural cleaners, it's not, oh my natural gosh. is still, it's still toxic. Yeah. Like, like if you natural cleaner, if you can't drink it, it's toxic. I remember when I was a kid, I was in the Amway business, and uh, this is back 30 that. some odd years ago, and we used to take LOC, put it in a, in, a, in a glass and drink it, because you could drink it. Mm -hmm. That looks way different than the other side. Well, give, give it a second. Yeah, I Either way, they're both looking pretty clean now. Wow. Okay, that's shocking. Yeah, I'm yeah, it's still blown away by that mirror. That was, that the, was mirror awesome. the mirror blew me away because I never get that mirror clean. Okay, so awesome. um, and we, we're pretty much done showing, right? Yeah, pretty okay, much. So, yeah. Other so, than us just drinking water. So what we yeah, have here, <laughs> for those of you guys who are interested, is um, the reason why we do this, okay, first of all, is you know that all of our programs are free. Um, all of our content is free. Everything to help yourself heal is free. What we are doing constantly is we're looking at things that we that make our lives better. We're constantly improving our life, and then at the minimum, what we're doing is showing this is what we do in our life. But this is a constant thing, and um, to be able to actually uh, uh, get a system here, like we bought this system, 
we did not, we were not given this system. That's not how we work. We, if we're going to spend our money on something, if I'm going to buy it with something, I spend my money. It's different than if somebody gives me something. So we spent our money on machine. It was about 20, this one here under saving about 2,500. Yeah, that was with the sale that we had on. Okay, and then this one here is? Uh, so regular price, this one's 31.95 US. That one is 29.95. There's another that is 25.95 uh, that has seven plates in it and sits on your counter. And then there's even a five plate uh, entry model one that's 15.95, so. So we've got lots of things down. If people uh, call in, they can go into, uh, anytime they see HG Water Experts on us, they'll have a link in there. Yeah. It's also uh, Shane at Human Garage, so. Yeah, uh, it's S-H-A-Y-N-E at humangarage.net. Um, if you go on to the Alpha Viva website through your guys' link tree, my email will and phone number will be at the top. Um, and then you can also reach out to me on Instagram through uh, H2 Water Expert. And uh, guys, also go and follow H2 Water Expert. Um, he's producing some really great content. Uh, again, we've been blowing up the alkaline meth. I've been waiting years to do this um, because the alkalinity thing, I've been watching people come into the clinic for all these years. And, and I literally, I mean, I like the water, but I couldn't see it translate into health benefits. Yeah. And, and I wasn't exactly sure why, because I hadn't done the research, but it's really the hybrid. Well, yeah, when I first got into the, the industry, that's what I got all the time. It's like, oh, no, the alkaline water, it's, it's just a mess, it's been debunked. And, and, you know, I'd say, well, that's because most people are still talking about the alkaline being the machine. It's actually about the hydrogen. Um, and you know, that, that was 2013, 20 to 2015, there was only 350 studies that supported the benefits of hydrogen. And now there's over 1500 studies on that support the benefits of hydrogen on over 170 different human disease models. And we're well, also going to be, yeah, well, because, and you also had your own healing around yeah. it. Yeah. Your own physical transformation yeah, from that, right? Personally, yeah. having been sick since I started drinking this water, I go around people that are sick all the time. I don't have any concern with that at all. I keep and maintain a very healthy, balanced lifestyle. I mean, you do maneuvers. Yeah. Do no, of course, yeah. yeah. I, and and, 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 and I, I highly, highly recommend the, the, the maneuvers and stuff like that. There's no cookie cutter solution. I can't just drink water and I, you know, be in good shape and, and look good and be healthy and stuff. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's what, what's happening in society today is death by a thousand cuts. We're getting, uh, we're getting, uh, we're getting it for the chemicals in our food, chemicals in our air, chemicals in our body products. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, uh, on top of that, we have those chemicals that are causing confusion in our system. It causes our hormones and our emotions to go crazy. Yep. Yeah. And then after our, more, our hormones and emotion go crazy, then our body starts reacting and having negative side effects. So, yeah. so really, it's we're getting cut by we're it's death by a thousand cuts right now. Yeah. And the chemicals now we pay extra money, extra mm -hmm. to make sure that we have organic produce all yeah. the time, and we got a lot of green come mm -hmm. off of these tomatoes, which are organic. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, they're, that's the the key there is is they're grown organically, you know, they, and that may be true. They may have been grown organically just down the street from another farm that is using pesticides and you get some runoff there. But as soon as they're done growing and then go into transit, yeah, they're sprayed down with some pesticides. And they, yeah, they for wanna, transportation. Yeah, for transportation, keep, transportation, keep, them, keep, them, keep them lasting longer. Especially if they're going across the border. The border. Yeah, yeah. If they're across the border and it says organic, it's not organic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm shocked. Actually. The question is: so alkaline food is good, but alkaline water isn't? Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> no, you, alkaline water is good. We're saying alkalinity is 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 okay for you. Alkaline food is different. Okay. Um, food itself is creating uh, creating a release of hormones, which creates an acidic effect in the body. So food itself, the more alkaline the food, the less your body is going to fire hormones that are going to dysregulate your system. But alkaline water, again, alkaline water tastes good, but it's really the health benefits is, is hydrogen, just plain I think, yeah, the, I think the main point with the alkaline water is just it's not going to balance your body's pH like some people think it would. I mean, it's just, that's the key to it. Is it, is it bad? No, it, it, it tastes great and you're drinking more water probably because it tastes great. Mm -hmm. 
But, and, that, and it's got to be taken into consideration some of the health benefits that some people do with other ion answers that aren't getting the hydrogen. Yeah. You're going from drinking not much water at all yeah. to drinking a lot more water, you're more yeah. hydrated. You yeah, know, yeah. Um, that's, that's the biggest issue is people actually don't, um, I don't, like again, I promote eating the water. Yeah. Um, and drinking water for me, I have legitimately one glass or two glasses of it. Yeah, yeah see, and then, I don't drink very much water anymore. That's where we, we differ. But that's I have the family members that drink well, this much water a day. I yeah. can, I, but I can tell you the yeah. reason that's not the way it was two years ago. Mm -hmm. As our fascia opened up, as we have less hormone distribution, we're getting younger, feeling younger, our bodies mm -hmm. smoother. And you can tell, you can tell the difference in our body. Like if I was to eat uh, fermented cabbage right now, mm -hmm. all of a sudden my body would go really soft. Really? Instantaneously. Yeah. You would feel it within 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. You would feel my skin change because we're highly reactive because we've been doing the maneuvers for three years yeah. and cleaning out our system. So our bodies are extremely reactive, very, very different to that. Very, you're alive. Yeah. Yeah. No, and and so that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, it's, it's, there's steps. It's not a, you know, a overnight, you know, fix it now type of thing. There's things that, that you can do to get yourself there. And, uh, one first and foremost do the maneuvers because they're free and you can do them from home and then you know work on just putting different things into your lifestyle that are going to well, we, yeah. complement that when we just got rid of uh, countertop cleaners we got rid of dish soap and we got rid of windex we got rid of all kinds of chemicals just yeah. with the one yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, literally, yeah. literally in this house, uh, <clears throat> the price of a machine is paid in a year by not having to use cleaning products. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, one year in this house. And not to mention having the unlimited source of proper, uh, good drinking water too, so you're not spending money on bottled wa water, and then, which contributes to waste in Plastic the planet. Plastic yeah, waste, you know, yeah, one and so there's a number of different ways that you end up seeing the, the value and, and benefit yeah. to it, and you know, that's why... That's why I do what I do because I don't want to see people, make, you know, spending lots of money and, and spending anything on these machines and they're not doing what they wanted them to do. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. <clears throat> so they uh, they reach out to HU Water Experts. You'll get them back. You'll help them. You answer their questions. Yep. Um, and uh, you're there to answer questions even when people have bought a machine. Yeah. Oh, so, absolutely. <clears throat> so especially. Yeah, we're not set up as you guys know. We're a very very small organization. We're not for profit. And uh, so we don't have, we're not building a corporate infrastructure. So Shane is on the outside, working inside to help you guys uh, with questions and things you have. So follow H2 Water Expert. If you guys want uh, a filter or you want some information about it, feel free to drop a message. Yeah. And, and again, <clears throat> we're, not, we're not here selling you products. We're showing you the products we use. And when you purchase those products, they help us. We get a commission off of it and it helps us produce more content so we can further our mission and help people. We're here to empower people. And and uh, as we get bigger, empowering people still takes money. We gotta go all over the world and stuff yeah. like that. So this is this is how this we- This is really fun. When you do this, it also allows it, it allows us to keep our programs uh, free as well. So yeah. really, really appreciate you for coming in, yeah. helping with this, showing us today. It's gonna be uh, really awesome. I definitely learned something. Yeah, and, and by the way, I, I, I can tell the difference. We've had this for three weeks now. I can. I, I, I can literally tell the difference. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, absolutely. I mean, it doesn't take long for you to start noticing the difference. Even if you drink lots of water and you're a big water aficionado to begin with, you know, there's two people, two types of people that like this, these machines. People that like water because they already like water, water. And people that don't like water, water because they don't really like the taste of water. So they're like, oh, hey, this stuff's awesome. That would be my mom. Kind of yeah. Water. Yeah. I no, think it, it yeah. is a big one. It's like if the, uh -huh. the water actually just tastes live. Yes, well, I, I went from drinking no water at all to drinking four to six liters of water a day because I'm like, what the hell is this stuff? This stuff's awesome. Like, and uh, you know, and now obviously I don't need to drink that amount and I just have that balanced lifestyle. That's what it's all about. And I'd also like to say that I'm eternally grateful for you know being with you guys and being a part of this. The fact that I can help support everything that you guys are doing means the world to me. So I am very grateful for having me, having me out here and doing all this, so. Awesome. Goes both ways. Okay guys, uh, last thing is intro, outro. <clears throat> We're talking about autoimmune and all the other, uh, all the other situations out there. Um, if you have a disease process, disease, body's not at ease. So my body's not at ease. If I'm angry, if I'm fearful, if I'm angry, my body's not at ease. Disease starts at the emotional level. 
And when we carry it too long, what it does is it starts to break down our mechanics. The, uh, the way that we handle it is really simple. A clean lifestyle, uh, move the body. It's, there's no supplement, uh, there's no drug, there's no water that's gonna magically cure you. You move your body, that's the cure. And you move this computer and these other things make it happen faster, that's it. We did our resets without the water, we did our resets without supplements. All we took, yes. with, took was minerals and silica, which are required. If you're not taking silica and you're not taking minerals right now, if you're taking minerals and you're not taking silica, they're not working. So take silica, take minerals, we use diatomaceous earth. We have products, we have our fascial foundation, which rebuilds your small intestine for autoimmune. It also rebuilds all the connective tissue, the fascia, and it has a patented form of ashwagandha. We also have, on top of that, the fascial flow, which has the Irish sea moss. And it uses a patented form of glyvia. Glyvia uh, is a natural sweetener, actually, that, so it, it hijacks the insulin pathway to get into the cell faster. So it charges your Irish sea moss turbocharge. Those are the products with our power curve that you can purchase. These are the ones that have the greatest effect. They are not supplements. These are medication formats sold in supplement format because of the way the pharmacology is done. So that's why they're so strong. So uh, they're part of the 28-day reset. If you really want to clean up your issues with autoimmune, then do the 28-day reset. Um, and the supplements are there. You can purchase the supplements on our, our website. Under the foundation bundle is the one that you want to look at. Thank you guys very much for showing up today. Thank Bye, you. Bye. Bye.